19 countries spread across and away at the first time of asking and this is the most amazing race bike that we're going to see oh this is the biggie it's superb what a wonderful start let's hope there's no uh, collisions as they come across after 100 meters it's quite usual for k4s to be sunk in this race in this first critical 200 250 meters well in this we've got the champions from the soviet union 12 months ago in Plovdiv. the uh, hungarians took the silver and poland took the bronze and this is obviously now the last opportunity for the host country now to win their first gold medal of these championships it is indeed and they'll be up there the biggies as always the soviet union and hungary uh, particularly strong in k4 10,000 meter racing and the backs absolutely packed both sides here the whole of poznan have uh, turned out uh, particularly on the bank the same side as the grandstand in fact the firework display that opened these world championships here drew a crowd of some 200,000 people from poznan just to show you or give you an idea of how popular this sport is in Eastern Europe. And you can see a lot of them are really spreading themselves out so they don't get themselves into trouble as they head up the course for some 1800 meters before they make the turn on this very big first circuit. They then come all the way down to us before they go out on the 1000 meter laps. This is going to be a very interesting race if they don't get the sorted, themselves sorted out in this first long leg. When it gets down to the shorter turns later in the race, there could be all sorts of problems for these big boats as they come round uh, each turn. Well, it's the Soviet Union, the champions are up front, Hungary are right on their tails. Not quite the same quartet that won gold last year. Bob Rashov was in the crew, uh, as was well, Superata, Vita and Mizgin then. Hungary, green vest, you can pick them out really clearly. And uh, they're well up there. Crew number five, in contention the Norway uh, quartet, including Knut Holman, the man who's won the gold medal for them in the 1,000 meters. He's uh, leading their charge up there. Norway, another strong nation in the K410s. And they'll be looking for a medal. But it's anybody's race, so much can happen with the K4s. Say they get sunk, they get turned. You hear all sorts of stories about the K410. Well, this is one race not to uh, leave. The Russians really powering their way there. Hungarians just on their outside. So now the race beginning to come to its final stage. The last race of this 1990 World Canoe and Kayak Championships here in Poznan. The K4 10,000 meters for men. In the lead are the Soviet Union from Poland. The battle for third place between Sweden, Norway and the Federal Republic of Germany. That's the second group and ahead of them the first group, Poland and the Soviet Union. Coming down with something like 1250 meters to go to the finish in this final race. The crowd absolutely going wild here. And the Soviet Union, remember the champions, trying to hold off the bronze medalists of last year. And then it's a good 50 metres back to the second group, led by Sweden with Norway and the Federal Republic of Germany. The Soviet Union coming into this penultimate turn with the advantage on the inside. The noise is going to be tremendous, Mike, as they come round to this situation one lap from now. Without a doubt, without a doubt. And again, the Soviet crew pushing the poles out slightly wide as they go around that turn. And the Swedes have tried to make a break behind from the other two, the Norwegians and the Federal Republic, but they haven't made it. They're all still together. So, into the back straight for the very last time. Soviet Union, the quartet of Bodrashov, who uh, is one of the survivors from last year's crew. 
Bankowski and Beta and Mizgin. Those are the four men who are in control. But for Poland, it's Gawalski, Lukowski, Gretzko and Kaleta. Trying to become heroes in front of their home crowd. This is the first time in the 23 year history of these championships that Poland has hosted the World Canoe and Kayak competition. The best paddlers from around the world here. This now the final race of the competition. Poland right up with the Soviet Union. In the second group it's Sweden, Norway and the Federal Republic of Germany being dropped in the battle for third place and so we have an all Scandinavian contest I think for the bronze medal. The blades, the paddles really flying there between the Swedes and the Norwegians as the Soviets reach the top corner with Poland right on their outside. Poland are gonna have to go the long way round unless they can pull up in the next couple of strokes you can see the gap there between the first two and the second two and the Federal Republic of Germany who are now clearly in fifth place Mike this is where Poland have got to go for it now well I think so but it seems to be that the, uh, the Soviet crew have got this race under control they haven't looked bothered or flustered so far they're talking to each other they know exactly where the poles are and more importantly they've put the poles in the position they want them to be in and they're controlling the race and they're into that top turn the very last turn exactly where they want to be and coming around that top turn now it's been a terrific world championships here in Poznan they've done a fantastic job in uh, putting together this stadium under the most difficult conditions the economy here in this country is very fragile and they've uh, sunk an awful lot of resources into this facility here and uh, the reward for them would be a gold medal by that Polish crew being pushed to the outside as we suspected now have they got the strength to come and come again because the Soviet Union have accelerated as you said they would right on the turn but now the Polish crew are going to get shouted home all the way have they got the strength the extra that you need as the uh, Swedish crew uh, look to be in third place but don't worry about the uh, Swedish crew let's look for the leaders and here we see the uh, battle for the uh, third place but now we're back with the leaders the Soviet Union on the right here are Poland on the left and it's a battle the Poles are trying to come here Mike they are indeed but I think the Soviet Union are going to pick up a gear now as they come into the last 250 meters there's a real battle on here but the one is still on the Soviets they look comfortable the Poles are desperately trying to keep on terms with them now and a fantastic charge also by the Swedes on the far side but the Poles are very close to the Russian boat and they're really putting everything in the crowd trying to lift one in this last hundred meters the Polish crew are trying the Russians are holding can they possibly do it? Poland looking for their first gold medal in these championships the Russians not giving in they all the Poles they're flying down this last hundred meters here the time are going to hold on. The Soviet Union are going to take the gold medal. The Poles have given them a battle all the way to take that silver medal. They take silver and the Swedes have blown through the last 250 metres to take the bronze. Their first medal of the championship with Norway going to hold on to finish in fourth place ahead of the Federal Republic of Germany and the winning time of the Soviet Union 35-21 35 minutes and 21 seconds and that is more than 35 seconds faster than last year's winning time and generally the times have been slower here which underlines what a terrific performance we've just seen from both the Soviet Union and Poland who battled all the way through this Mike. That was really a superb finish from that Soviet crew they were really uh, on top of their form and as you say the times prove it but what a performance also from the Swedes there to come all the way through the field to take that bronze medal here we are as they come up from the line, they're still perfectly in time, they just put their foot on the accelerator over that last hundred metres, all the way from the Polish crew, who are 
coming across the line now they're delighted with the silver medal just the same and the Swedes in third place so the last race of this year's world championships the gold medal going to the Soviet Union ahead of Poland with the Sweden picking up their first medal of